Let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Part 1 Microchips in burning microchips. And Part 2 EMP shield fabric. Part 1 Microchips in burning microchips. Microchips, body implants. Yes, it is real. If you say only the government has access to microchips, look at this. You can buy it online for 50 bucks. Watch. Ta -da. So, if you want a comparison with something, this is a full SIM card and that's the microchips. Microchip, not microchips. Ta -da. So, let's read this little one. As you can see, the microchip is valid. Now we are going to sacrifice it. Actually, I'm not going to sacrifice it because I only have one. I will try to play with it, see if I can program it, see how it works, and uh, make another video. Magnus Olsen. This was conducted in Croydon, London. Let's talk about EMP. Electromagnetic Pulse. EMP stands for Electromagnetic Pulse and it's a conducted field which has a, a very disruptive influence on all types of electronic material. How EMP or Electromagnetic Pulses work. EMPs are devices that are capable of emitting a strong electromagnetic pulse that can destroy electronic equipment within a given area. Alright, so what does this mean? It means once an EMP goes off, everything affected by it goes dark. Literally. But how does an EMP actually work? An EMP sends a strong electromagnetic pulse that can be transferred to conductive materials. This pulse has a large current and overloads almost every electrical circuit it reaches. Let's say you go on a road trip, and due to your inability to decipher between your left and rights, you get lost and end up driving in the middle of a desert where a nuclear test is going on hundreds of miles away. The EMP created by the nuclear blast will reach your car, and the delicate circuits within your car that are meant to handle small currents are suddenly met by large electromagnetic pulses. This will send a large current into every circuit in your car and make other electronics around you fried. Therefore, your brand new car and phone are now fried and useless. Let's have fun. Let's burn microchips. Okay, I'm not very good at this, but I will do it. So, here is a microchip, which it disabled, but here it's a brand new one. This thing, 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 reads microchips. So, I'm CD. I need 125 kilohertz. Let's see. Read it. Miss Barassi card, read success. Card sector encryption. Card number is 11404. This one, it's disabled, burnt already. Now, what we are going to do 
it's good. we are going to have fun with the new toy. We put it this way. So. I already to watch it, but three, two, one. Three, two, one. Do you see the spark where the black dot is? It is, it is. So let's have fun. Let's have fun, fun, fun. Turn this off. Are you ready? So Um, got a brand new one here just just for the sake of this video so this is disabled this you can see the spark a little better because of the black mark. Watch it but Ta -da. Okay, fantastic. So the conclusion is an EMP gun or generator, whatever you want to call it, will burn small implants microchips. Let's now move on to the next one. This is a card. Here, as in the previous example, we have one which is burnt. So, we are going to have fun again. Are you ready? Let's do it this way. And on the other side. Tada, smells like burnt. I wish I, you could smell the smell. <laughs> smell the smell too. Get back to life, you. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So you have cuts. Implants burned. Kaput. Finish. We're going to play with this now. So. So it's time for the next sacrifice. I'm going to remove this first. Oops. So, ready for sacrifice. And the other way around. And the other way around. Let's check. I'm I need 
Now, get ready. Dead. Next one. The little one. I'll just take the rings off. Are we ready? Steady. This one looks like it's already. Actually. Actually. So the reading thing was kind of stuck with the other one. So let's do it again. Read okay. Ready for the next sacrifice. Turn it around. And around again. Let's just put this thing off. We ready? Conclusion. Look at the size, the thickness actually of this one, comparing to the thickness. How can we supposed to hold them? Can you see the little one, which it's which didn't burn? And it's still readable. So this is the thick one, the chubby one, and this is the. So look at the sacrifices I've made today, for the sake of the video. The conclusion is. You can burn microchips, but with a small gun or EMP, you will only need to, you will only be able to burn certain types of microchips. And you will see in my video why microchips can be burned and they cannot be protected. So in conclusion is any microchip that in your body can be burned. No exception. If this can burn this plastic, it would definitely burn this. Also, I would like to add that with this setup, I have burned the microchip that I had it implanted in my left eye. Note. Something to consider. This setup will, as you saw, burn small microchips, but in order to burn bigger microchips, or if the body implants are somewhere deep into your body this setup might not be able to burn the body implants but you got the idea if you have something similar and stronger i mean more powerful than this you could burn the microchips which are embedded deeper into your body so yes microchips or body implants if you want to call them that way can be burned with electromagnetic pulse generators 
what I am using. What I am using to burn the microchips. So this is the wire. And this is the teaser. And this is the setup. To see the whole picture. The focus is not doing very well because of the light. I will need to add a little discra disclaimer just in case any of you are thinking to doing the same thing and you are harming yourself I will not be held responsible considering that all my audience are over 18 years old so you will be responsible for your actions when you build this one side has got to touch the thingy and the other one you must have a little gap and I'll show you why this is where the connection between the spark and the actual EMP see the spark so if you touch the other side to this and then you press the start button or whatever you want to call it you're going to make a short, short circuit or whatever it's called and you blow it up so you will need the gap without the gap you will burn your hands and the teaser or whatever you are using I'm out food for thought okay just a thought this thing here can be connected to any computer or laptop and it's used to program the chips microchips fobs cards whatever you want to call them now I'm not sure how the body microchips implants work but just an idea if you would be able to use something like this to read the body implants if you would have the right software you would be able to reprogram your chips the or your chips by saying your chips I mean the body implants you have that's just an idea so because basically if you could program this one you could as as well program the little ones which are used as body implants I'm not sure if it's the same technology but just an idea for some of you more tech service out there to consider and to look into I will do some research into it myself too show must go on we will stop this gang stalking murderers and thieves part 2 EMP shield fabric so <clears throat> today I'm going to show you why radio fabric won't fully protect you unless you are fully wrapped in it and there is no gap so pay attention step 1 the phone it's covered now I'm going to close the gaps The rings. So 
so it stopped now you can see it's fully wrapped try to call the number again As you can see, there is no network reception. Let's open it again and call again. As you can see, if you wear caps, hats, clothing, you won't stop the radio frequencies. So good luck with that. One last thing to add about radio shield fabric microchips. Microchip shield from EMPs. So the idea is if the microchip is shield from the EMP you won't be able to connect to the source so the gang stalkers would not be able to connect to the microchips that you have implanted in your body so two things to add one you can burn the microchips because the microchips are not EMP protected and second, unless you are fully wrapped, as I showed you, you won't be able to stop the gang stalkers to connect to the microchips. So, this should be... Your body should be fully wrapped in fabric in order for the microchips to lose network, to disconnect from the network. So, I will repeat again, hats, caps, clothing won't protect you. It will, might reduce the intensity if you get hit by microwaves, so it might protect you a little bit, but it won't stop, fully stop the attacks or the connection to the microchips in case you have microchips. So, that's all for this video. If I come up with something else or other Dexter experiments, I will make another video. So good luck to all of you. Thank you very much, Cody. Your donation helped me make this video possible. Please share this video and the rest of my videos. Facebook restricted me from sharing, even in my own group. Thank you all for your help and understanding. Like, share and subscribe to keep in touch. Video made by Gangstalking Attention Awareness.